Thank you for joining me today. This is Rivka with Treasures of Glory. This is prayer team episode number 20. This episode is titled Pride in the Epistles. This episode is in a series of excerpts from my book Covenant and Religion from the series Keeping Covenant with the Lord in the Seven Mountains of Culture. This book can be purchased at treasuresofglory.com, Amazon, or wherever books are sold. In addition, I'm offering a limited time offer for the Kindle version for 99 cents at Amazon. Links are in the description box below. I'll be covering excerpts from some of the chapters over the course of the next couple of weeks. However, in these videos, I'll only be covering a portion of the chapters and won't be including all of the biblical principles for the healing of a nation that are covered in the book. So if you like what you hear in these videos and want to go deeper, you'll want to have this book as a resource for your library. Please click the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for future videos. If you like the information in this video, please click the like button. It helps the algorithms to promote it so that more people can view it. Also, please share this video with those who are interested in praying for our nation. If you would like to receive emails about our prayer team, the sign up link is in the description box below. Our prayer team is based on the verse from 2 Chronicles 7.14 where it is written, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Let me open us up in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. We praise you and give you glory. I speak the blood of Yeshua Jesus over our households, bank accounts, businesses, ministries, and everything under our stewardship in the name of Yeshua Jesus. We plead the blood of Yeshua Jesus over President Trump, his family, and all those who are appointed to govern alongside of him in the name of Yeshua Jesus. We pray and put on the full armor of God, which is the belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The shield of faith that extinguishes the flaming darts of the wicked one, taking up the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, taking up the garments of vengeance and the cloak of zeal, having the Lord as our shield and the glory of the Lord as our rear guard. We pray that every curse, hex, vex, spell, incantation, form of witchcraft, voodoo, dark art, or other form of weaponized demonic activity are reversed and sent against the heads of the sender sevenfold, that they would know that Yeshua Jesus is Lord. We declare that every human spirit, hybrid spirit, demonic spirit, synthetic spirit, or spirit child on assignment to create distraction, confusion, or the triggering of bombs, booby traps, tripwires, or other types of programming are now discovered and bound in chains and fetters of iron and put wherever the true Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus, sends them. We thank you that there is martial law instituted on all parts of the humanity of those listening, attempting to go out of body and engage in astral traffic and trade that is ungodly and unauthorized. We thank you, Holy Spirit of truth, to guide us into all truth. We call this time blessed and fruitful in the mighty name of Yeshua, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pride in the Epistles. This is from chapter 26 from the book Covenant and Religion. It is written in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. As members of the royal priesthood, our focus this episode is to repent of the sin of pride as recorded in the Epistles. When we act in pride, we are not able to keep and guard the covenant with the Lord. Let us continue in our diligence in seeking the Lord in repentance of sin and replace with righteousness in the nature and character of the Lord. Please continue to allow Him to bring healing and restoration to you and us individually as well as a nation. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, as members of the royal priesthood, we repent for breaking covenant with you, for not keeping covenant with you on behalf of ourselves, our generations, and our nation, for the following for being a lover of ourselves, for being a lover of many and being covetous, for being unthankful, for being unloving and not having natural affection, for not forgiving, for slandering and falsely accusing others, for lacking self-control and not restraining passions or appetites, for being brutal and fierce, for despising the good, for being a traitor, for being headstrong, for loving pleasure rather than loving God, for appearing to be godly but denying the power of God, for fighting and warring because of desires for pleasure, for coveting, for murdering, for asking amiss to spend it on pleasures, for having lust of the flesh, and for having lust of the eyes. 
As members of the royal priesthood, we replace in our lives and we lose in our generation and nation the following. Esteeming others as better than ourselves. Seeking first his kingdom and all these things, clothing, drink, and food will be added to you, to be us. Also receiving the abundant life through Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Being a lover of God. Giving thanks to the Lord in everything. Loving the Lord our God. Loving others as we love ourselves. Forgiving others so we will be forgiven. For not speaking against one another. For putting away all anger, bitterness, malice, slander, and wrath. Having the fruit of the Holy Spirit of self-control. For adding self-control to knowledge. And adding perseverance to self-control. For being slow to anger is better than being mighty. Love is kind. Hating evil and loving good. Being a friend who loves at all times. Doing nothing through selfish ambition, but valuing others better than ourselves. Having the mind of Christ who has humbled himself and was obedient unto death. Also, we replace in our lives and loosen our generations and our nation, loving the Lord with all our heart, soul, and strength, loving and obeying the commandments of the Lord, so we may live, multiply, and be blessed by Him, being filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, putting off all anger, clamor, bitterness, evil speaking, and wrath, having godliness with contentment, and putting off all deceit, evil speaking, envy, hypocrisy, and malice. Abounding with blessings by being a faithful person, forgiving our brother from our heart, living from the abundant life Yeshua Jesus gives, not avenging ourselves, allowing the Lord to take vengeance, loving our brother and not hating him, seeking first the kingdom of God so all these things will be added to us, having our minds governed by the Spirit is life and peace. We continue to replace in our lives and loosen our generations and our nation, putting on Yeshua, Jesus, and making no room for lust of the flesh, disciplining our bodies, walking by the Spirit so as not to carry out the lust of the flesh, belonging to Christ and having crucified the desires and passions of the flesh, possessing our own vessels in sanctification and honor, abstaining from fleshly lusts that war against our souls, making a covenant of eyes not to look lustfully at others, and not looking on anything that is wicked. Dear Heavenly Father, as members of the royal priesthood, we choose to forgive from our hearts, ourselves, anyone in our generations, and anyone in the nation that comes to mind, for how he or she did not keep covenant of the Lord, which caused injury to ourselves and our loved ones, either now or in the past, for being a lover of himself or herself, being a lover of money and being covetous, for being unthankful, for being unloving and not having natural affection, for being unforgiving, for slandering and falsely accusing others, for not being self-controlled, for being brutal and fierce, for despising the good, for being a traitor, for being headstrong, for loving pleasure rather than loving God, for appearing to be godly but denying the power of God, for fighting and warring because of desires for pleasure, for coveting, for murdering, for asking amiss to spend it on pleasures, for lusting of the flesh and lusting of the eyes. We pray this in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's important with intercessory prayer and spiritual warfare to keep balanced in the midst of dealing with these deep issues. So we need to make sure that we're ministering to and caring for our spirit, soul, and body. It is written in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23 and 24. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, who will also do it. I offer resources on treasures of glory for ministering to the human spirit, soul, and body. In ministering to the human spirit, I have spirit-to-spirit -spirit blessings, love, joy, peace, as part of the Fruit of the Holy Spirit, a spiritual warfare series. I also have a series of CDs on exceeding joy blessings. 
Resources that minister to the soul include the series of The Fruit of the Holy Spirit is Spiritual Warfare. In addition, I also have the books on Keeping Covenant with the Lord and the Seven Mountains of Culture, so Covenant and Religion, which is what these prayers are coming from, and also Covenant and Family. I also have resources with Treasured Wellness 365 consultations that minister to the body. And so these work at the quantum level in the body for it to be able to release toxins and pathogens. And you can see from my testimonial video on how this has benefited me. I have links to these in the description box below. Thank you for supporting this prayer team through prayer and financial contributions. The link for contributions is in the description box below of the abundant life Jesus Yeshua has for you. May you give thanks to the Lord in everything, for He is good. I bless you to grow in your intimacy as a lover of God. As you grow in love for Him, may you increase in your ability to love yourself and others. It is through knowing His love for you that you are able to expand your ability to love others. As you grow in love, I bless you to increase in your capacity to forgive others. Forgiving others is key to the Lord forgiving you. I bless you to be free from anger that is murder in the heart. May you have the love, strength, faith, and courage to forgive your brother from your heart. May you live from the abundant life Yeshua Jesus gives by being able to forgive others. I bless you with the courage and faith needed to not avenge yourself and to let the Lord take vengeance against the kingdom of darkness for the sins committed against you. I bless you to love your brother. I bless you not speak against one another and put away all anger, bitterness, malice, slander, and wrath. These abhorrences have no place in the life of one who is a lover of God. May you be a friend that loves at all times, doing nothing through selfish ambition. May you be filled with the fruit of the Holy Spirit of self-control. In gaining knowledge, I bless you to add to it self-control. As you grow in self-control, may you add to it perseverance. Instead of the world's way of dealing with anger, may you be slow to anger, for this is better than being mighty. I bless you to be kind and loving others. I bless you to always hate evil and only love that which is good. May you put away any aspect of being headstrong. Instead, I bless you to have the mind of Christ, who humbled himself and was obedient to his Father unto death. I bless your love for the Lord to be strong and to override any temptation to love pleasure rather than loving God. May you love the Lord and obey his commandments so you may live, multiply, and be blessed by the Lord. I bless you to truly be godly and not deny the power of God. May you be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. I bless you to remove desires for pleasure that result in fighting and warring. I encourage you to detest and put off from you all anger, bitterness, clamor, evil speaking, and wrath. In addition, I bless you to remove all deceit, evil speaking, envy, hypocrisy, and malice. May you know the great gain that results from godliness with contentment. As you are content in the godliness formed in you, may you be free from all coveting. May you abound with blessings by being a faithful person. I bless you to trust the Lord for your provision so you can be faithful, friend, toward others. I bless you to remove all covetousness from your life. Not coveting is necessary component for gaining inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. As you grow in contentment and godliness, may you be strategic in your prayers and asking the Lord for things to expand the work of the kingdom of heaven on earth. I bless your eyes and heart to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. In doing so, the Lord will bless you with what you need. May you put off all lust of the flesh. Instead, may the Spirit govern your mind with life and peace. I encourage you to make no room in your life for the lust of the flesh by putting on Yeshua Jesus. May you discipline your body in the spiritual sense as you would physically. I bless you to walk by the Spirit so as not to carry out the lust of the flesh. I encourage you to live from your place of belonging in Christ and having crucified the desires and passions of the flesh. May you possess your own vessel in sanctification and honor. I bless you with courage and honor to abstain from fleshly lusts that war against your soul. I bless you with courage and faithfulness to make a covenant with your eyes to not look lustfully at others. May you not look on at anything that is wicked. Beloved, as a member of the royal priesthood, I bless you to meditate and focus your thoughts on things that are excellent, just, lovely, noble, praiseworthy, pure, and true. I bless you in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. Please join me next time for episode 21, The Humility Blessing. This is a very powerful blessing because humility is what makes us great. So please join next time to be able to be blessed. Please click here for the links to view other prayer team videos. The prayer team playlist includes satanic ritual abuse, why you need to know about it, 
Portland's Recipe for Anarchy. It also includes the previous videos in this series on covenant and religion. So if you've missed those, I encourage you to go back to be able to see those. There's also a playlist for the Treasured Wellness 365 consultation that introduces them and the video on my testimonial of how this work has helped me. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless and shalom.